David in Apex, North Carolina. I love some of these names. Just great. The Apex at the point where everything meets. Okay. If the speakers in your room basically act as a reflection of a microphone in a studio, then wouldn't it be beneficial to have some setup documentation when you buy or download a recording? Now, I realize all rooms are different and there's processing that takes place when mixing and the number of people that would actually take advantage of this information is probably few. Still, for a maximum imaging and sound staging effect, wouldn't it be useful to have some of the recording documentation for people that really like to tinker with their systems? Hmm, let's think. Does anybody like to tinker with their system? <laughs> Nobody I know. <laughs> That's all we do. All right, I think it's a great idea. I love it. And in some of the earlier Octave recordings, we went to a great deal of trouble to show where everything, as far as musician placement and all that, uh, is. And, and like the Don Grusin recording, even though that was a solo piano, there we made a great deal out of where the microphones were. So where, where the piano is in the, in the room isn't really relevant. That now it's what kind of perspective are you looking at? Where are the microphones? So part of the problem is a, unless it's a live recording, unless it's, and by live I don't mean at a club or whatever, could be live in the studio, and then we do a lot of live in the studio stuff at Octave Records, but where the musicians are placed is really only relevant in a live studio recording. So the drums are over here, the bass guy is over here, and you've got the room mics, and then all of that should line up and make sense. And yeah, I think that would be great. However, typically, a lot of recordings include overdubs, ISO booth things, and then in the mix, we try and create the live effect or the live sound, so it sounds live. And there, I don't know. Maybe it would make sense to have the mix engineer say, well, I put this guy over here, and I put that guy over there, and this lady was, you know, maybe. I don't know, it's a really good question. I would like to get Octave Records more into stand-up live, combos. I am recording a solo viola here in the next few days and that's going to be really fun because part of what we do is we include the room mics and then when in the blend you know you're going to create this this live sound to get as close as we can to what it sounds like to me or to anybody in the studio at the time. We're going to be doing that. How much documentation would help? I don't know. I got to give this one some thought, but I think there's merit here. I think it's a really good idea. We just If you have any comments, we love to hear your opinion. Throw it into the comment section. Help us out here. This is all new. Everything we do at Octave Records, I mean, the fact that we are doing everything now, the, the latest recordings are all 256 DSD. Whew, I mean, there's a lot of technology going into this, and, and these kinds of things are rarely done. So we're on the cutting edge of making something very new, and we'll take all the help we can get. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.